hey what's going on you guys thank you for clicking on this video and i hope all of you guys are doing all right so today i have five things you may not know within mortal kombat 1 this is just random things that i've seen so far i was gonna do 10 but i feel like some of it is just like you kind of figure it out anyways but let's go ahead and get straight into it and my number one thing that i'm gonna start with is all of the characters have different amount of health i know that you guys probably have seen that if you guys go into the training practice or sit in the lab and mess around but not only do some characters have different amounts of health you picking cameos also change that health bar so say like natara has one of the lowest health bars that i've seen and if you pair her up with certain characters it will give her more health or it will give her her flat health or even like havoc or shao khan general shao same thing they are the ones that usually have the most amount of health and if you pair them up with certain cameos it will decrease their amount of health or it will max it out to a certain percentage just the thing that I found out and I realized when messing around with the different cameos in the characters. But moving on to the next one, you can earn more XP for your character's mastery and your cameo's mastery by doing brutalities and fatalities, whether it be in invasions or playing online or in the towers, wherever. The only thing that I would say is that it would be faster like if you just want to speed run your masteries it'll be faster if you can just produce a brutality rather than sitting there watching the fatality and if that watching the same fatality over and over and over again but you do earn more xp and it'll help you progress through your mastery with whatever character or if you have a set character that you're working on but you're working on a different cameo you can also do brutalities with that character and it will progress the cameo faster same difference all works moving on to the next one reptile has a back throw and his back throw is called puny human now reading it it makes sense because he's a lizard man grabs you and then slams you throws you you know you don't think anything of it but when I first heard Puny Human, I thought of the, the scene with Hulk grabbing Loki and slamming him back and forth and then called him a puny god. Enough! You are all of you beneath me. I am a god, you dull creature. And I will not be bullied by that. God. now i don't know if there's any like if it's warner brothers saying anything about that scene or anything that was my personal thought that where the reference came from i believe is all up to us as players but i thought that was pretty dope now another thing did you know that the voice actor for baraka is steve bloom which is the same voice actor who voices our favorite zombie slayer tank dempsey from call of duty zombies and also voiced wolverine in the animated series of x-men there are also many other voice actors who have voiced in many different games but i'm sure you've already known from when the game was first coming out obviously natara is voiced by megan fox and the Johnny Cage skin for Von Claude Van Damme is actually voiced by the actor, obviously. Moving on to the last one that I have, and it's kind of going to be a mixture of some things, but make sure to check your notifications as well as you can earn stuff like gold that may have been sent to you from the creators. Uh, it lets you know about patch notes they might give you like a like oh here thank you for participating in such and such season one blah 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 whatever just make sure to check your notifications it's within your profile just it doesn't hurt to check it and then collect everything out of it because like like i just recently checked mine and i had 14 15 000 gold coins just sitting in there 
and I never knew about it. And then one more thing, there is cross progression, at least it's what I've heard. Now you do have to create a Warner Brothers games account. And then when you make such account, all you have to do is go into the account settings, go to connections, and then connect your game profile to your Warner Brothers account. And then as long as you have all your accounts connected to that profile on Warner Brothers, whatever, you can go to any system that you have connected and it should be pros it should be cross progression and you should be able to play with all your stuff still there no problems whatsoever now we're still waiting for cross play i haven't heard anything about when or whatever if it will come or anything but i do know that on pc there is cross play between epic and steam that is the only thing that i've seen so far and I have not heard anything about when they'll implement crossplay. Now that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys learned something new, maybe drop a like, maybe subscribe. As subscribing lets me know that you guys want to see more and it is greatly appreciated. Now I hope all of you guys take care and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Shoots.